So you guys remember my buddy Evan from Driven, the guy who asked for my help and he's like fucking we're changing exhaust and he was blow torching it, uh, what was it, like 45 minutes before we had to roll in to go to the show. So he's trying to like bend it so you can... Oh, I think something happened. So you wanted that because the whole reason you want to swap it is because of that bolt? Yeah. Oh. So he calls me today and he's like, Hey Jin, you got a tire patching kit? I'm like, oh fuck. So he's got a hole and uh, we're gonna go help him out. So, I gotta tell you about an experience I had that I didn't actually put on YouTube yet. Um, so, I was running PP3s for my front and rear, uh, and this was last year, I believe. Um, and last year, end of season. Yeah, end of season. I only had maybe like two, 3,000 kilometers on it. It was pretty, pretty brand new. Um, it had like 7,000 left. Um, and I found a... Uh, it's in my, in my pocket. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, and I found the freaking. So it was I was at the Deerfoot bike meet, and I found a screwdriver head. You know how those uh, interchangeable screwdriver bits? Those were one of those was in my freaking tire, and I was so pissed off because it's brand new tire. And I looked into patching it and whatnot, and honestly, tires for bikes apparently work different than cars, so. Once you got a hole in it, it doesn't really matter where, it, it ruins the integrity of it. Something to do with the, the metal mesh and all that crap in the inside of the tire. So, like dealerships and body shops wouldn't touch it here. Uh, they would not patch it for me. And there were a few people who would do it privately, like through out of their own garage. Uh, but at the time, I was, you know, uh, riding, giving my girlfriend rides in the back of the bike. Cause she didn't have her own bike last year and I was really uncomfortable with having a you know patched up temp a possibly bad tire so I decided to give it away for free to my buddy Darian and get new pp3s so I, I got um, new pp3s and I've been riding them this season I put again another maybe 2,000 kilometers on it I'm not sure roughly around there brand new and then fucking there's a nail Alina found a nail <laughs> It, it, it could have been in there for a couple of weeks. I was wasn't like right, sure, yeah. Right before we went out for a ride, it was like his, his bike parked in front of my bike, and I noticed there was like this little silver dot, and I wasn't sure what it was, and it was a nail. Yeah, and it was it was just pissing me off because second tire in a row, and tires are pretty expensive. So, anyways, um, I decided to get a new tire again, just just because I want to run new tires. Uh, and I, this time I got Metzler Sportech M7RR. And I gotta tell you, I, I thought PP3s were good. I was told they were good, that's why I got it. But oh my god, it's a huge difference. Just with the rear. I'm gonna get the front uh, next week sometime. Because it was on back order, but they had the rear and I need the rear patched. So I got the M7RR Sportech Metzler. And oh my god. Fe yeah, take a right. It feels like my bike is glued on to the ground. It's so sticky and so awesome. It's dual compound, so in the middle it's like hard. Uh, so if you're riding straight, it's not gonna wear it out. But on the sides, oh my god, it's got silica in it. Uh, you wanna go left on the stop sign. Okay. It's got silica in it, and the grooves left, left, left. That's right. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> she forgets left and right sometimes. But anyways, yeah, the silica and just how it's made and the grooves, it just makes it perfect for rain. So bad weather condition, you can still ride hard and it's just, it's an awesome tire. So if you guys are thinking about, you know, riding hard on the street, then um, go with the Metzler. You won't, you won't regret it, guaranteed. Yeah. Obviously, we don't sound speeding. <laughs> but, you know, riding for your level. Yeah. By the way, Alina's got vehicle plates in there because those are from driven <laughs> i still haven't given back to evan all right so we need to bring some kind of a block or like a kickstand like puck in case uh, our bike is going to be on the running um, strip or whatever because it is at the gym area in the oval um 
and we don't have anything except plates, so we're gonna take the vehicle plates. And I put our kickstand, our bike on it. <laughs> so I'm giving it back to Evan now, and I've been holding on to him forever. Oh my God, there yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it pisses me off when tires fucking get holes in it, especially if it's brand new. It's a second house coming up here, I think. Oh, there's just a red focus. Yeah, it's a second house with garage open. We'll just park like on the driveway. Oh, there's the scrub. Hey! <laughs> it's what it looks like when your bike's down. You look very sad and pathetic. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Yeah, yeah. So we got your plates back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my girlfriend has got a new look on her helmet. Do you see the horns and the treads? Pretty badass. So yeah, I brought a tire patch kit. I'll show you where it is. I keep it in the back of the bike here just in case I need to uh, use it. So I'm just going to pop this out for you guys and show you. So here it is. Um, so whatever the hole is, you want to make it nice and fine and clean with this by shoving it in and out. Ha! <laughs> Joke. Um, and here is uh, the actual equipment or the tool to get the patch in. This is super gluey, uh, rubbery thing in here. These are the strips. Just kind of sque squeeze them in there and then we push it into the hole as tight as we can. Um, and then we pull it out and it should be fine. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, Alina is gonna shove that thing in there as hard as she can. Holy. Is it in gear? So it's just not gonna roll? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put this shit in, <laughs> in gear. Okay, so first we'll put it in gear. Yeah, put this shit in gear so it doesn't roll away from you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. So there's a hole. We can even hear it and see it. It's like. Can you push it? it? It's like making cracking noises. Here, here hold it. You got some Now it's nice. I remember this being extremely tough to do. Yeah. At first it was really hard, and then after a while it became really easy. But the fucking the other part's really hard to put in. I did it a shell. I was like, oh. Your tire's gonna go flat as fuck, by the way. Easy. Oh, damn! The screen turned off. It's okay. I have no idea where my aim is. Wait, did I make another hole? Okay, no. <laughs> Oh shit. That's two holes in the tire. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Is that literally just you just grind the shit out of it? Yep. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Alright, that's good enough. So, now that we made the hole, there's the hole. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put this shit in there, okay? Again, this thing on the box said uh, it's not permanent. It's like drive to the nearest body shop ASAP after putting it in. But, but I've ridden like, a little bit. We've ridden like two rides with it in, and then Darian ridden it for a little while, and then he went and got a patch, his wheel patch by Benny Wheeler. Okay, so yeah, you put it in like this, and it's fucking tough to do, but that's what you do. And now you just shove it in there and pull this thing out really fast, and it's actually gonna cut this in half, but then keep it together. So watch. It's gonna be so hard to push in there. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> All the air is gone. You gonna highlight? Do you notice how, how he has no chicken strips? <laughs> <laughs> I was just oh, gonna yeah. say. I was gonna be like, you're gonna have this in your video. There's gonna be like no chicken strips at all. Like, on look it. how car, car, car he oh, corners. Fucking hard. This was like the hardest thing ever to get this part in. Was like oh, the yeah. hardest part. Now he has to take off his jacket. Oops. Oh damn. My GoPro ship. I like how, Jin, you only have to come here when we have to do like super ghetto shit. So now that we got maybe an inch, inside it's a lot of work. Yeah, it might, it might be hard to see because it's dark out. And now we just fucking pull this shit. Ready? Watch. Just rip it out. Watch it all. Oh wow. Pull out method. Like, there you go. It all come out. So, <laughs> that is now patched. 
Now we need an exacto knife to cut that off, and if you want, you can burn it off a little bit. But honestly, I'm burn it off. you can leave a little bit of a nub on there; it'll, it'll grind off in your eye. Grab the blowtorch. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. No. <laughs> That's how you uh, patch tire, and yeah, it's temporary. You wanna get that off and then ride to a shop and get it repaired or new tire, whatever floats your boat. What yeah. The there you go, ghetto tire fix with uh, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna fill it up now, but that's pretty much it guys. Cheers.